Hi everyone. Right, so me and Steve um, decided to purchase this Prussia King Pro yesterday and I'm um, not entirely sure what I'm doing with it. We've looked at a few vlogs on what to cook and recipes and things like that but because I had already bought a pork joint for dinner I thought well we'll give it a go and see what it's like in there. So as far as I'm aware what you do is you open it like that. Inside you've got this dish which has got a minimum and a maximum. As to It depends on what you're cooking as to what sort of water or fluid that, that you put in. It's just got like a little button here in the bottom. So what you would do, you would place this in here, decide what meat you want to, to cook. Um, I think we watched someone who done like a pulled pork, that looked really nice. But because we're doing keto, we're not using tomatoes and, and different things like that, but we might give it a go one, one day, see what it's like. Um, so yeah, so what you do, I've got the, the pork ready, I'm going to add garlic mixed herbs, salt, pepper, and I've just done like some vegetable stock. I've done that much for now, but I think depending on how much is covered, I'll probably have to add some more in. So when you've got all of your ingredients in, that's, maybe I should do that first and then come back to you and show you what it's like. Mm. So I've just put the, the pork inside and it actually fits quite perfectly. I thought it was going to be a little bit too big for the fit, but it looks okay. So I'm just going to stick the garlic in and stick some of these herbs in. Would have helped if I'd uh, already opened them. <laughs> so from what I'm told, it sounds as if it cuts down on like the cooking time. So say if I was going to be doing, doing it in the oven, um, obviously it's like quite a few hours. To do it like on a, on a lower sheet but doing it in this we think it's approximately an hour to 75 minutes yeah Depending, yeah. yeah yeah possibly so, 90 minutes with one person done yeah so i'm just gonna put some of this in here and then some salt and then is it even coming out <laughs> I don't know if it is. Little bits. Little bits. Looks empty to me. <laughs> and then um, pour some of this over the top. Now we're going to be doing wet vegetables like. Just, just wash all the herbs off the top, eh? Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, I'll give it a little. mix actually. I could probably do with a spoon. <laughs> Lumpy stock. <laughs> yeah, little mix up. I think I don't think I need to put any more stock in. I think that should be fine because it's up to nearly the halfway line. Yeah. So what you've then got to do, obviously. Plug it in. You, you can tell we've never used pressure cookers before, so this is trial and error. But like this, we're, we're learning as we go here. Yeah. So if I do something wrong, don't <laughs> don't crucify us for it. So what you do, this has got like a little arrow here. And this goes to this side where there's a little arrow. Line it up. Yeah, yeah line it up. Turn, and that's it. Yeah, and you see everything all lined up at the okay, front. Okay, so it's not... Now, don't worry about this part, because that is like a little bit loose. Yeah, it's meant to be, yeah. But what you do is... You turn it. Do you press it down? No, I don't think you just turn it. I don't think to the closed position. To that position there, so that's. So the, uh, or somewhere around there. Yeah, we'll find out when it's. <laughs> yeah. So then, what you would do? Oh, sorry, when the, when the pressure builds up inside this valve here, and yep, yeah, that valve there pops up, then keeps the, the pressure. Yeah. Oh. So on the front here, you've got a few different options. You've got stew, rice, fish, meat, um, pasta, soup, steam, and cannon. But I'm not too sure what that is. 
Gammon. Uh, is it Canning? Canning. No, I've never heard of yeah. Canning. If anybody knows what Canning is, I have no idea. I've never heard of that. No. So we're going to go neat. Cancel. Right, so, go, meat. And then, then what you do is you would press this button here and up to however many minutes you want it to do. So I'm going to do it for. Does it go past 60 or not? No. No, right. So it's six, you'll have to do like twice. There's so, one where we've seen we've done 60 minutes plus 30 and we're wondering why. So now we know. So you see, you've chosen how many minutes you want it to do, and then these will go around in a circle, and that's when it's sort of heating, heating up inside. And building the pressure. To, building the pressure at the point where this will pop up. Yeah. And then it'll start doing the cooking. Maybe I should have been for a simpler thing first first time around. Yeah. The chicken, <laughs> I was, I was going to say, <laughs> you had a choice between pork and chicken. Yeah, you went for the pork <laughs> instead, didn't you? I think it was easy. Yeah. But... We'll give it a go. Yeah. So once it's done the 60, we'll bang it on for another 15, 20 minutes or something. Yeah, yeah. Just, just to make sure. And hopefully, um turns out quite nice. Yeah, we'll let you know how, yeah, what what it's like. And we've heard good things about these Pressure King pros. So this is the first thing we've actually cooked in it. So, yeah, so we'll let you know. What the idea was to get rid of the slow cooker. Um, we've got, we did have a JML, we've already got rid of that. The JML, oh the, the it's halogen. like a halogen cooker thing. Yeah. That, yeah. Also we've got a, what's called an 8 in 1, which you can cook to Again, JML in. I think it is. Yeah. Oh no, Go Chef. Go Chef 8 yeah. in 1. Um, that and we're also, well because with have been on keto, we're not having um, any sort of chips or anything like that. So I'm also getting rid of the air fryer. So hopefully there'll be a lot more room in the in the kitchen. Yeah, in the cupboards, yeah. Yeah. That definitely looks better in the corner than the yeah. the halogen did. So oh. yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Well, the what we're we doing, pork. <laughs> <laughs> the pork is done. Uh, we've done it for 60 minutes and we're doing it with an extra 15? 15. 15, yeah. An extra 15. So let's see how it's got on. Yeah, first thing we need to do, release the pressure just by turning the knob there. Now that'll take a, a short while to just to release the front end there. It, apparently these will not let you take the lid off while it's under pressure. It's one of the safety features. And while that's Doing that, Denise is just doing the of the veg, She's pinching a bit. It's nearly done. Once once the pressure is released, the little valve there that'll uh, that'll drop back down, so you'll hear it click. And it's just literally just as I stopped recording there, just literally clicked. Right, moment of truth. Oh, smells lovely. Let's get it out there. Let's check it. it looks quite pink on the camera, but it doesn't look like that in real life. Really easy there. Yeah. Very nice. So what we're going to do? Oh, there we go. What we're going to do? It is cooked, but we sort of wanted a little bit crispier. So I'm going to try rather than wait for the oven to heat up and everything. I'm going to just try and 
crisp it up maybe it's on the outside in the frying pan god that looks really that looks dusty the pan there but it's not <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no pressure then, yeah. No pressure. <laughs> These are my favourite pans. It's a tower. Would it like a taste? Mmm. Oh, very nice. Sizzling all right. Yeah, the frying pan thing didn't work there, so uh, it just went a bit softer. So we're just taking the fat off it. And it smells really good. Doesn't look too dry. Shouldn't be dry, it's been pressure cooked. Plate it up, let you see what it's like. Oh, nice. So this is the finished article. So I've got cauliflower, broccoli, asparagus and green beans. And there's the pork, lovely. What we did at the end, because we had a bit left over, we shredded it up and added it to the gravy and poured that over the top. So yeah, looking forward to this. So yeah, if you if you give this a go, nice simple recipe for you. Let us know how you get on with it. And your final opinion of the the Pressure King Pro? Really good. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm pleased we've got it now. Yeah, yeah, good. Really nice. Yeah, so much, so much. So yeah, there you go. Looks lovely, doesn't it? <laughs> well, bye for now, and catch you on the next one. <laughs>